What's going on guys, Burrito here, and today we're back with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be going over a Discord tip and trick, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, this will be very, very helpful to the content creators out there that are starting up Discord or just want to get their content out there somehow. And let's say they want it very personalized, this is just for you. Alright, so let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so you guys can see right now that I'm in my uh, Discord server Ultimate Gaming Lounge. And I'm in my text channel called Burritos Content. This is where I manually post all of my content every single time I post. So if you guys would like to know how to do this, but with a bot, this is where you're going to do it. So we're going to be using Me6 today. So I'm going to switch over to my browser. We're at Me6.xyz. So you're going to go to Add Discord. And let's say he's not added or the bot's not added to Discord or whatever. Just make sure you add it and then go to the user panel. This is what the user panel will look like. And you can find um, all the servers you have it added to. And now you can go to the dashboard of that server. So we're going to be going to Ultimate Gaming Lounge. And you guys are going to see that there's actually many different plugins. And a lot of other bots do this. I think um, Me6 is the best. But I think, you know, with upgrading to premium, obviously you get more channels and uh, more access to that plugin. But off the bat, like vanilla... This regular plugin is very, very easy. So, they have four, as you guys can see. Notify people when Twitch, when one of your Twitch streamers go live, when you post a tweet, when you post on YouTube, and when you post on Reddit. So, we're going to be going over all four of them. Well, pr pretty much they're all the same, so this will be a very universal tutorial. But, we're going to start off by just going row by row. So, all you have to do is you enable the plugin, and we're going to go back to the dashboard at Plugins. And just enable all of them real quick. So make sure you keep going back to plugins. Alrighty. Then, once you have those enabled, we're gonna start going, start going and uh, customizing them and setting them up. All right. So first, we're gonna go to Twitch, and you guys can see you have to link your Twitch channel. All right. So you can automatically search for it or whatever. So I'm gonna search up burrito underscore dude. Burrito dude, that's me. All right, now that you have that, you don't have to put a link. You don't have to put anything. All you have to do is search up the channel with the correct name, and you guys can base it off the profile picture and the, the followers. If you're having some trouble with that, try to customize your channel a little bit more. Or you guys can join Me6's uh, Discord and contact support there, but it is very simple, so you shouldn't have trouble. Now, here is the message. All right, so you guys can see uh, it starts off, Hey, everyone, streamer is now live. Link, go check it out. So pretty much what they're saying is like, you can customize it right here. You could say like burrito and then you could say now live on and then send them a link like that and then go check it out. This is uh, the automated message. One thing that I don't like about these plugins is it automatically sets it so it pings at everyone. That's something that I don't like and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna enable this plugin in the future. Personally, I like posting uh, the content myself just in case there's one video that maybe I don't want to post into my Discord but keep on the channel or just personalize everything, maybe put another message. I don't know. I like doing it ma like manually, but if you guys like the bot, go for it. Uh, I do recommend you take out the at everyone just because like from experience, uh, not everyone likes getting pinged and a notification just because you're going live. It sounds like very selfish, so they might get mad. That's why I also like doing it manually, so it doesn't really offend anyone, and it's literally just a link. Now, you have to uh, uh, post the channel. Post a link in what channel, right? So you're going to have the bot, Me6, post this little advertisement every time you go live or every time you post, uh, and it's got to go into a certain channel. So we're going to find the channel. Let's say you have not made the channel. Make sure you save everything, okay? So, let's say you don't have a channel. Just select select a random channel and press save. Alright, so, you're going to make sure that uh, once you save it, even though it's not saved the, to the correct channel, you make the correct channel. In my case, I do have the correct channel made, so it really doesn't matter that much. We go to Burritos Content and make sure you make it. Let's say you didn't have it made, make it now. Then, go down to Me6, refresh the page, let it load, then you're going to edit it again. Go to Burrito Dude or whatever your Twitch channel is, and then go to Post to Channel and find the correct channel. It should show up now. 
And if it doesn't show up, make sure you restart or reload your page. And if need be, you can press Control R on Discord. And what that does is it just refreshes your Discord. If you need to, you can do that. Now, let's go back here and you press save. What you can also do, which is a new feature with Mean6, is receive a Discord notification when someone follows the channel. So we can turn that on, but unfortunately, it is with Premium. This this can be unfortunate, it can be whatever you call it. I think Mean6 Premium is by far one of the best premiums out there. Like, I, I really do think it is. So you guys can see in the top right of the screen, there's a little video. Uh, that's my Mi6 Premium video, and I might make another one in the future based off their new updates and stuff. But, I do think Mi6 Premium is very helpful. Now you press save and your Twitch channel is set up, and that's going to be pretty much universal for everything else. But let's go over all the other premium features. You guys can see adding more channels is a premium feature. So, that's very self-explanatory, you just add more streamers to post to that channel. Then, another really cool um, add-on is the live streaming auto-roll. Let's say you're like in a streaming Discord or like a content creating Discord. Having this enabled means every single time a person goes live, instead of their like link, their little advertisement getting posted, it it automatically um, like gives them a role. So you'll see on the side of your screen with the roles, it's going to be like live streaming. And you can probably edit that role. I'll get me 6 premium again in the future and we'll be going over all everything else because this is new and i haven't gone over it and we'll go over that in the future but all that does is it lets everyone know who is live streaming right now so let's go over with a little breeze of everything else so we got twitter pretty much the exact same thing you just connect your twitter account then youtube literally the exact same thing you can add more channels search for a youtube channel and then once again i recommend taking out that everyone and maybe customizing this would be a lot better then lastly, you have Reddit. You're going to have to do uh, r slash whatever subreddit you're a part of. And then you guys can post whether it's a wide embed or a compact embed. Meaning, um, is it going to be like a really big message with all of the threads? Or is it going to be a compact one with the main thread and very just like straight to the point? Then once again, you subtract the... You select the channel that you want it posted to. And you can add more sub subreddits. Other than that, that is how you set up a social status part of your Discord. And you can throw it in there, and it is very helpful, very useful. And my only tip is make sure you customize it, and you take out the at everyone. Alright guys, so, now what we're going to do is we're going to experiment with it. So we're going to connect our Twitter account real quick. So you guys can see it's going to open up a little link right here, and you're going to authorize it to uh, your Twitter. So it automatically recognized my Twitter, which is burrito underscore dude. And it's going to ask you, can you authorize this app? And then the app being Discord, or uh, Me6, is going to be able to see my tweets, um, see my Twitter profile, and then see the accounts I follow, mute, and block. So we're going to authorize it real quick. Now, let's cut to us making a tweet. So, you guys see it? I have the tweet made right here. It says, making a video testing the Me6 Twitter plugin. So, we're not going to tweet it yet. We're going to go to Me6, and we're going to set it up real quick. So, we link the account, we're going to search for a Twitter user, burrito underscore dude. We're going to wait for it to load, that's me. Hey, at everyone, Twitter user just posted a new tweet. We're not going to do at everyone, because that's lame. That's me, post a new tweet. Like it. Now we're going to select a channel. We're going to just select burrito's content real quick. And then, we're going to press save. Now that we saved it, we're going to refresh it, make sure everything has actually saved. Looks like it has. So we're going to go to Twitter, and we're going to tweet. Made it 13 seconds ago, I guess. I'm going to go to Twitter real quick, or Discord. And we're going to drag it over here. And then if we go to Burrito's content, you can see Me6 worked perfect. So, that's how you set it up, and that's what it looks like. And I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Ultimate Burrito from Ultimate Gaming Lounge, and I hope you guys have an ultimate day. I'll catch you around.